Alright, this will be my first tutorial that I will release on YouTube and this will be how to take and use sound fonts for your music but before that I'm going to show you where to find sound fonts and how to install them into Fruity Loops. Alright, a place that I like to get sound fonts is from a place called ProBangers.com. ProBangers has a sound library and in their sound library they have strings, bass, kick, snares, hi-hats, drums, horns, and even guitar sound fonts. With these sound fonts, um, the strings have a nice sound to them and everything, but these sound fonts, the uh, drums, those sound fonts right here, like even right here he mentions these files contain literally thousands of drum samples, hi-hats, snares, kicks, cymbals, toms, rim shots, and all kinds of things. Well, once you get these and you download them, which it's great because it's free sound fonts, in order to install the sound fonts what you would want to do is go to start and then you go up to my computer. Once you go into my computer gotta wait for it to load you would go to your local C drive or something along that sort mine says HP pavilion because that's the type of computer I have but go to the one that has a C on it double click it yours may say the files are hidden or whatever just say unhide the files and once you go in there go to program files it may be the same thing and unhide them but um, in here you will see image line let me find it uh, I will arrange by name and over here is image line and then you'll go to FL Studio whichever version you have and once you're into FL Studio which is this I will make it bigger you will see these files and what you would like to do is go into data and then patches and then there will be a folder in patches that's called sound fonts here in sound fonts is where you will install your files. Me, I have, I think, six gigs of sound fonts, but right here are the rap instrumental files. And in here, you will see where I have the bass, the brass, the drums, guitar, and strings. All right, also probingers.com it says kicks, snares, and hi-hats. These are WAV files. Those WAV files are different from sound fonts because they're samples. And where you install samples at is pretty close to the same directory as the sound fonts. So what you want to do, you want to click up twice and then you will see a place called packs. Inside of packs I put it underneath of 101 wrap files or wrap WAV files and in here I have my hi-hats, my kicks, and my snares. Whenever you open up FL Studio hold on while it loads um, whenever it loads I will show you where the packs are located and where sound fonts are located. Alright, now on the side you will see packs which is this folder right here in which you have these and since I had these underneath of 101 wrap wave files over here I will look and there's a 101 wrap wave file folder I click on that and it shows my hi-hats my kicks and then it also shows my snares well I'm going to shut all of that back up again and then if you look right here it'll say sound fonts and then one right here I have the 101 rap instrumental sound fonts and it has the bass and these basses are nice because they each come with an mp3 file in order to let you hear what type of bass it is so this helps a lot whenever making music that way you know beforehand without having to put any notes over here or inside of the piano roll and you can just listen to whatever it is but this comes with all of them it comes with the brass and you see there's an mp3 file on the brass it's the same on all the drums these are the drums that it downloads 
That is a lot of drums. And then each of them has a ton of samples in the sound font, which is what sound fonts are. They're more or less a collaboration of multiple samples put together. And here, as you can see, it's a nice list of guitars. And here's your strings, which is excellent because I like to use the Piz and then I like to use the violin in the string section for background. And there you go. That is a way to receive sound fonts and how to install your sound fonts and put them into your music library. Remember, it is probangers.com forward slash sound library. But you can just go to probangers and then click on library. Thanks for watching my tutorial.